that's going on with the next project with uh, Giorgia Virtual Teacher from Università Politecnico di Milano, Gioacchino Moscato. Hi. Welcome everybody. I am very happy to meet you. I introduce myself. My name is Giorgia. I am a virtual teacher for children around the world that cannot have the right basic education. My students will be followed in a well-defined learning path according to their requirements for learning. This could give the opportunity to millions of children to improve themselves and be the workforce for the future growth of their countries. I leave the word to Gio, who will give you a deeper explanation of the details. Enjoy it. Education is the fourth objective of the United Nations agenda. There are more than 120 million children in the world without basic education. And this could bring advantages in terms of future growth, social context, but I strongly believe that new people bring new solutions. Georgia borns from the union of two AI-based technologies. The voice chatbot, which allows the user to have an active communication with the engine, and the digital human that having human appearance can capture more the attention of children, involving them in the experience. So, the solution concept is to develop a virtual teacher application, which brings us to the possibility to easily give interactive lessons. But how is it possible that a virtual teacher can give lectures? The key point is on the learning through play, providing commands with basic exercises aimed at the basic learning. Starting from a learning path, through the study of possible subjects, arriving to the final goal of understanding and addressing problems to the critical approach. And this can be done through this exercises, like in the example on the right side, where we show three different exercises on math, heart, and English. And this is a tool that has been used during the COVID period from primary school teachers to give smart lectures. So the virtual teacher must be set up defining first theoretical and practical lessons. Then set up an active interaction through the chatbot technology to solve doubts and answer questions of children. And in the end, that acquisition is a powerful tool to check control and improve the bot. The device is designed as a personal laptop, but it has to be adapted to the requirements of learning. Therefore, we need accessories useful for the experience, like microphones or speakers, a multi-touch screen with a pencil, for writing application, and the introduction of a portable solar panel is a solution to solve the electricity problem and so charge this kind of device. In the end, I would like to highlight that Georgia can be adapted to any kind of language, type of study or social contest, since the key point is on the game, that is a common point in lives around the world. And also, the requirements for learning can be developed strictly in line through the new technologies of artificial intelligence. I have already developed a very basic application, and if you want to try it, it's available. Thank you.